Hi, so on my yung adlaw sa atong tanan. Today we will having our devotion in 1st John chapter 5 verses 1 to 5. Now, if you have your Bible, uh, please follow me as I read the passage for you. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God, and everyone who loves the Father loves his children as well. This is how we know that we love the children of God, by loving God and carrying out His commands. This is love for God. To obey His commands and His commands are not burdensome, for everyone born of God overcomes the world. This is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. Who is that overcomes the world? Only he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. Throughout this letter of John, mabasa na to diri na naasya'y strong theme na ginabalik-balik. It is loving God and loving His children. The big idea here is that loving God cannot be separated to loving God's children. Now, who are these God's children na ginaingon ni Apostle Chandria? These are God's people. These are our brothers and sisters in faith. It is our neighbor, atong sigkatao, those people that God entrusted unto us. Ginaingon din ni Apostle John na kung nahigugma ta si Ginoo, nahigugma po ta sa ato ang isigkatao. Mo ni ang, ang pinakamensahe niya dres sa iyahang letter. If we love God, then it is natural for us to love God's people. But, if we say we love God but we hate our brothers, then our love for God is questionable. Because in 1 John 2.9, the Apostle John said that anyone who claims to be in the light but hates his brother is still in the darkness. Now, on verse 2, uh, the Apostle John tells us that this is how we know that we love God's children. Mauniti mailhan na nahigugmata sa ato ang isig katao. Una, by loving God. And ikaduha, carrying out His command or keeping God's command. Unsa ni nga command ang ginasulti ni Apostle Jandri? According to him, these commands are not of new command, but an old one in 1 John 2.7. In his letter, John present it in a way na masabtan sa iyang recipient, but it all, it all boils down on this command. It is to love the Lord your God and to love your neighbor. Sounds familiar? Yes, this is the greatest commandment. In Matthew 22, 37 to 39, Jesus said, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. And the second commandment is, Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Again, these two cannot be separated to one another. If you love God, then natural lang na mahigugma punta sa atong neighbor o sa ato ang isikatao. And this love must be also put in action. According to 1 John 3.18, He encouraged us that we should just love not in our own word or tongue, but through action and in truth. As God's children, we should love one another as we love ourselves. And most importantly, obeying this command. The Apostle said in verse 3 that this is love for God, to obey His command, to love God and His children. And in fact, His command, this command is not burdensome for those who are born of God. 
na unsa atong ma-reflect aning loving God and loving God's children. Nowadays, gina-expose na ni God kung unsa ang naa sa atong heart. Our natural tendency for self-preservation and survival. People nowadays think more of themselves. How could I survive? Or how could I protect myself? But to all of us who receive this command from the Lord, let us look after for the welfare of other people. Our neighbor. Imagine if all people in the world will look after for the welfare of one another. Unsa kaya ang mahimong impact ani sa kalibutan? Then, we already preach God through our action. Muni ang gugma na visible sa tanan tao. Naghatag si Lord of opportunity or venue for us to put in action what we have read and what we have learned from the Word of God. Nagatoo ko na gihatagan na ta og opportunity ni Lord karong panahon na to minister to other people. Kung natay capacity to help other, then help them with joy. If we have capacity to take care sa itong mga frontliner, then we must take care of them. And the opportunity to pray for the world. Taas kita, uh, nowadays, taas kita oras because of this quarantine. And I believe this time God calls us to pray for the world. As a follower of Christ, God teaches us to love one another as we love ourselves. This is one way to obey God in this pandemic. That the love we receive from Jesus will able to give to one another. Mahatag po nato ni nga gugma na na-receive nato sa ginoo. Dili lang kay nahigugma ta sa ginoo, pero ang tinuod, si ang unang nahigugma sa tua sa pagpadala sa iyang bugtong anak na si Jesus para sa kapasailuan sa atong mga sala. Jesus is our model on how we should love other people. In times of calamity, we have hope in Jesus because the one we believe it is Jesus Christ already overcomes the world. Uh, if so on, uh, I believe the uh, Ghan ma-reflect aning uh, Word of God. I encourage everyone to read and study and I hope we will see you soon. Maka fellowship na ta together physically and together let us pray, uh, let us uh, meditate more on the Word of God and I hope uh, continue to be healthy sa inyong home karon. And I pray that uh, soon, a fellowship will Again, love God and love other people. This is the devotion for this morning. Uh, God bless.